So definitely thank these guys for supporting the stream. And of course, the gentlemen working the boards. Team Spooky Zone. If you're not a skull, you should be. Subscribe. I'm at Big Two once in a while because I can walk there. Yeah, man. Not right now because I'm using a cane, but you know. I'll be there. Gotta work on my. I definitely need to get back to that. My job has been making it real hard, nine to fives, man. But uh, I'll, ma I'll, I'll make it out. We'll there. be there. We'll yeah, be there. we'll be there. Definitely. Big ups, uh, Henry. Sam. Anyway, we're gonna go straight into it. This is gonna be Fox versus Sheik. Yeah. Japan versus New England. Let's go. Are uh, they gonna be in the USA chance? The winners finals here. Yep. And again, this is winners final. So three out of five. Three out of five. Absolutely. And of course, you know, you always wanna exit out of a bracket like this on the winner's side. You're not doing yourself any favors by uh, leaving loser side. I will tell you one thing right now. What I really like about Sultan's style is it's reminiscent of J-Man. He's yes, he runs yes. at guns. He's really really patient too. Yes. You know he's he disengages, sees what you're going to do, and goes back in. It's That's one thing it. a lot of players do. They're just in on all cylinders at all times. That's a but really safe really style. Patient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really really Japanese. You know those guys thrive on their fundamentals. They thrive on uh, safe choices. That's right. I really like this from Sultan. You know, so and he's, he's barely been hit. Look at him. He's not trying to take any damage. Any unnecessary damage, rather. Okay, here, Dazzle has an opportunity and misses. The tech chase opportunity, yeah. yeah. That would have netted him a lot of damage. We're okay, though. And look at that. A fake a fake with this short hop and then just goes in again with the backer. Throws it out, expecting Dazzle trying to capitalize. Here he goes. It looks like Dazzle's just trying to get something on Sultan, but he's just playing way so too good right now. Sultan is playing phenomenally. Opportunity right here. Oh, he just up there. him. And it, he got it. Nice. Chilling. I see a couple of uh, Sultan's actually uh, countrymen from Japan, PL and Ko, behind us right now. So wow. They're definitely supporting the guy, and how could they not? And of course, you know, we have a one-stock lead for Sultan right now, showing that Japan is more than Gucci, more than Ansa, more than Ko, more than PL. So... No, it's just fantastic. Ooh, Ooh that's what made him save them there. Yeah. You know, maybe he was fortunate enough to get the audio cue to uh, shorten the illusion early, but I don't know if that was possible. Dazzle may have done a favor, and he just definitely did not do himself a favor there with that uh, SD. Uh, unfortunate stuff right there. And this is actually a pretty good stage for Dazzle to be in against Fox, because any knockdown that he gets would probably lead into Fox being off stage immediately. Yep. And there we go, an opportunity right here. And there you have it. And I'm, I'm liking the move choices from Dazzle in that little, uh, in that little exchange because he's throwing out options to cover. He's throwing out the high option and still has time to uh, cover the late ones that he misses. So it's Very just smart. Trying good, to cover, solid play. Yep, mul trying to cover multiple options basically. Right. Wow, Sultan, that was a bit risky. A lot of sheiks would crouch cancel and immediately punish with a down smash. Okay. Wow, and um, that was a really nice back air. Yeah, he's just spacing really well. He's just playing, he's playing like bread and butter. He's sticking to his stuff. Ooh, oh, Phantom. Phantom hit. Perfect spacing on that up smash, so it whiffed. Yep. Unfortunate stuff. It's when the hit box and hurt box overlap. touch, but yeah. don't overlap. Don't overlap, yeah. Thank you for that one. No problem, sir. As we get a back air to close out the first game, Dazwa needs to just take some moments to reflect himself because he wasn't playing like himself there. All right. And As Kevin M. Kevin M. Coaching, giving him some tips. Kevin M is a pretty He's good, pretty good Fox main player's own, yeah. so. from New England. Okay. And, and Soten's coming up with his tra his translator game an option, so. Oh, it looks like Soten is like, I'm fine. At that OD, okay. Strong Sheik stage, another small stage where she can get a lot of good follows because of the platforms. And of the course, stage you know, is small. And the platforms rising and falling do mess up a lot of uh, characters, especially space animals. Uh, they'll Absolutely. be throwing out uh, text skill and messes up because the platform might be rising or falling, which messes up the frames on your L cancels. And we see the up tilts through the platform, the forward tilts through the platform, just really putting up a good air to ground, uh, ground to air game from Sheik, which is what Sheik's like to do. They like to stay grounded. Yeah, Sheik does have kind of a high shore hop, so it is pretty risky if she were to uh, approach with a fair, especially against a character like Fox who could just turn around up tilt or up smash. And we're just seeing basic stuff. Go off the stage, bear, clean out the, uh, the set, uh, the stock part of me. That's what just. That's playing a lot better now. Yeah, he's trying to wall him out with his um, fadeaway fares, it seems. You know, I don't blame him for that because we're seeing a lot of those uh, well spaced Ooh. back airs from uh, from Soten. From Soten, yeah. Good stuff. He's playing so much better now. 
misses the edge guard opportunity. And here, Sultan might get something started. Going for a back throw. Mm. Probably um, in a mistake. Probably up throw. Oh. I've seen players like Digiton and J-Man do that to mess up the DI. Yeah. And then capitalize afterwards. But didn't need there as he closes out that stop up smash. Nice intercept. And he has no jumps. <gasps> okay, Dazwa still catches him because he did not tech. But he shakes his head knowing that he's not going to survive very long with this many technical flubs. Oh, Soten, every time, that's a good thing that Soten did. He basically noticed that he had needles, and Sheik usually would charge their needles and toss it at Fox just to make it a little easier with dealing with Fox because Fox, you know, with, with barely any damage, especially under 40%, he could crouch cancel and shine you. And I, I like that from uh, Soten. We don't see many pummels anymore. People usually just throw immediately. Smart choice with the down smash. True. Take ledge. And close out that stock. But Soten is playing really, really smart. Dazwa is getting some steam going. Nice up smash. You know, he's going for this optimized punish. A lot of people will shield grab there. This is an immediate uh, down air out of it. Probably was looking to just uh, wave shine into an up smash afterwards. The smart stuff from Soten is trying to get the most out of every every exchange. Oh. It's exemplary play from him. That was really good DI there by Soten. Uh -huh. Wow. But Dazzle right now certainly is leading the charge, and that's good that stuff. stuff. So for those players wondering why they're just tossing out those dash attacks, it's really good at intercepting players whenever they're dash dance camping. Right. And we have some wisdom there from Soten and crouch canceling, basically saying, whatever you do with me, I'll eat it. Nice punish. Yep. Solid. And he even takes the time, knows his frame, says, I'm going to charge for a little bit, just to make sure that it counts. Yep, just to guarantee it. And a nice, it's a really nice angled uh, shield there. Oh. And again, you know, he's not doing shines out of shield. He's trying to get the most out of every exchange, especially his out of shield games. I really, really like him from Soten. Yeah, drills out of shield. Yeah, old school. Nice. Recognize he missed the tech. Probably could have went for a harder punish. Ooh, Beautiful right stop! Shine, shine, shine up, up smash. smash. Wow. Japan. Okay. PL in the background, like, I knew he could do that. Um, it's really just exciting to see Japan. Like, every year, it's like, there's always a new Japanese hero at every event. You know, we went from the days of Bomb Soldier and, Us and Masashi and Fumi and, and, and Captain Aniki. Jack. Yes. yes, there's so many. And then the new era of guys like Ko, Amsa, Gucci, Soten, PL. Cool. So many. So many. Uh, Bullet Suits Dazwa. A tad bit of salt on this one. I do like this stage for Dazwa. I, as do I. I, I, you know, I. I really don't feel like this set is out of his reach at all. Uh, he's just missing out on a couple opportunities, being a bit overzealous at times. He's dropping some good stuff, but I, I don't think it's over for him. I think he definitely has what it takes as a player, but that was not a good trade for him at all. Really good, solid stuff by Sultan. I just really love his solid play style. It, it, it's, it's very, very Japanese. Yeah. Just fundamentals, man, all around. As we even it up, and we can see some needles being thrown. Really good fares. Nice. Dazwa has some tech this chases This is his now. first tech chase opportunity. That time, I think she was looking for the uh, the roll towards the end of the stage. Wow, snipes him. Snipe, uh, smacks him out of it. Looking for a shield poke with the up tilt. This guy's dirty. Oh, but that's not what you want to do. He's in luck, though. Ooh, but that's it. not what he needs. And that was a gorgeous move choice from Dazwa. So he smart. goes with the weak first back air. Just so it knocks him back just far enough that he can't get out of it. Wisdom. Wisdom. Very smart stuff. And now, up there, up there. Yeah. Dazwa's in the lead once again, but Will Sultan. You know, we haven't seen a back. single shine KO from Sultan. He hasn't really needed in the set yet, but the guy's probably capable of it. And even still, it's Fox. Not to be. Approach with the down tilt. Interesting option. Yeah, the down tilt's actually a really good move to approach with because, I mean, if they block it, they, you, they can't really punish it if you space it properly. And if you hit with it, by the way, good stuff by Dazwa, you could get a nice combo afterwards. Yeah. Now, the last time we saw, it was 2-0. And then three games straight. Dazwa's trying to repeat it here. <laughs> um, 
You see Japan kind of collecting, supporting him. No coaching, nothing like that, just there. And Final we're going to the Japanese special. For years, their entire metagame was just on FD. Yep. Now, this is a really good decision by Soten. Why? Because Sheik is really strong on platform stages. Right. You take away the platforms from Sheik, and now Sheik has to actually engage. And not just that, but, you know, we haven't seen that good of a, uh, a tech chase game from Dazman to the last one, uh, where he got a solid tech chase opportunity. Uh, here, in order for him to get a lot out at this stage, mm -hmm. he's going to need those tech chases to be pristine. Yes. Okay. Good stuff. He realized that he couldn't quite get it, so he tried to fake him out with a little wave dash. Those movement tricks sometimes may cause a player to flinch and allow you to get a punish. Hesitation might lead to your own demise. That's right. Nice, and here's an opportunity here. Some more needles. Beautiful angle. angle. Nice by Dazua. Wow, yep. New England. He read that he was going towards the ledge. Capitalized on it perfectly. Wow, Sultan's movement is pretty scary. Good stuff. Dazua needs to ke keep those double jumps. He needs to be. He needs to not use them so early, because Sultan is obviously just gonna full jump and back air him out of it after he gets knocked off stage. Anyway, good stuff right here. Sultan, nice punish. Back and again, did you see that? Did you see that? He jumped up, tossed out a fair. What Sultan did? He full jumped, back at him out of it. Yep. He needs to mix it up. It's the second time already. Nice stuff by Dazwa. Wow, just. And now the first opportunity, but he was reading for the second place, but that time intercepts him with that good air to air forward air. Ooh, he might just lose control here. And this is not good for Doswell. Not at all. Nice stuff by Sultan. Probably realized that he was DI'ing those and just opted to go for a grab. Oh, he went for the wall jump to wow. re-grab it. Yep. An and Doswell fits pumps. You see that? Take whatever you can get. That's right. There is no charity here. You gotta do what you can do. None of these guys want to go to losers. Oh, no. You'll be stuck in losers for the rest of the tournament. You must make it to the grand finals, and well, there's a lot of sharks here, and it's already blood in the water. Up tilt. Beautiful. Nice turn on back air. You know, it's one thing that a lot of players... Ooh! Tomahawk from Japan. Up. An empty jump. Across crash. the Pacific. Oh, that was amazing. But, yeah, you know, a lot of players, they're talking about combo games. They're like... That's like the biggest issue for a lot of them. How, how do I combo? How do I combo? And comboing this game is so fluid. You have to always be aware of the situation. Are you comboing for percent? Comboing for stage positioning? Do you want to go for a reset mid in the middle of things? There's so many options. So It's really, really freeform. It's like jazz. Woo! Oh. Going for a third one, but... And right now, person, I don't like what Soten's doing right now. He's approaching. He has a lead. Just stay away, fire some lasers off, close it out eventually, but just ensure that you're going to be there. As he starts retreating, fire a couple of lasers off. I'm not sure I agree with that up here. Fox would not go off the top that easily. He is a fastballer. Took a Good trade. trade for Soten. Yeah. Nice stuff by Dazzle with the recovery. Opting not to land on stage double so shine. shine. Nice, Maxim. And he has a chance. Yep. Will Dazwa hang out near the edge so that he could toss him off and get that early edge guard opportunity? Will he go for it? He's definitely looking for <gasps> it. And I like that he's crouch canceling whatever Dazwa wants to throw at him, especially with the down smash. This just I think that's the set. It? And that is it. So Ten is going to advance out of his pool, winner's side. Beautiful stuff by So Ten. And